All right, let's do this. Um, I believe I have to climb the mountain again? Or did I do that already? I have not done that yet. All right, so time to climb the mountain again. Yeah, so I should just be using the left button a lot. Oh, Shade's basically there. Gnome and Syphid are the two that really need to keep it up. Lumina's gonna get there in a second. Spamming gnome. Oh, are we really that close to shade too? Walnuts. Not gonna survive this.
still alive? Get out of here. Actually, at this point, I don't really care about the markup at Neko's. The nice thing about leveling Gnome is you just get to use speed down a lot. I think that's one of the few elementals that has a non-damaging effect. Like Lumen and Magic Point Absorb is the other one. Yeah, 
That's the big one. Save option. I was say I better be dead from that. Mr. Energy. Yeah, he, Neko's shtick is that he's in he's in the field as opposed to only in towns. There's also a large portion portion of the only game where he's the only character who can uh, sells eat walnuts. Mogwai, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Bagel Cage, where two bagels enter, but four slices leave. Got levels. Shouts to subscribing during what is basically grinding out levels for a casual gameplay. I appreciate the support and just hanging out. I guess I have to eventually figure out if I'm going to actually be able to get magic points out of this. I don't think I can, though. That was a positive number. No, I'm so close. I should just go. Let's 
Seven down, one more to go, right? So it would seem. You may not enter. Ahem. His sageness is out. Is you kidding? He has flown off to the Republic of Tasnica. I always call it Tanaska, but I think that pretty clearly spells Tasnica. The Tasnica Castle is. I was looking for. Your turn now. Your turn now. So close. Eighty four. Your turn now. Three. So it should take like five more. That's one. Seven. Cool. This is the the next one that's a freebie to cast because it doesn't actually damage anything. Let's get the experience for this. Done. Right, let's get out of here. I mean, the thing is, Mr. Energy, I played this game a million times in the 90s. I know exactly what's coming. Assuming they didn't change anything. This is the Wind Palace. Good. I like that there's like basically three palaces that have nothing inside them. Here, let's get you... Shall I save the game? Take care! In theory, I could sit here and just spam the girl's magic and basically top it off, but it takes twice as long to do it if you're in a place that doesn't let you have your weapons out. So I guess I would just run outside use it all, but I wouldn't be leveling the sprite at the same time. West. There it is. There's a spy! I'm a little surprised they didn't change this music to be less piratey. Oh, I hardly recognized you. You've matured so much. What's going on? Unfortunately, there's an Imperial spy in our midst. We're trying to suss out the opportunity. But all we know is that he's after the Chancellor. Be alert. Memory. 
There's an orb somewhere in here. It's in like a weird place. That room has a mini map. This room has a mini map. This room does not have a mini map. I like how there's a king, even though it's really a chancellor. Wait, silent spy! How take them away? Wait, this man is a fake. <laughs> Couldn't fool you, Jenna. Too bad. I could have destroyed this realm from within, but you found me out. Take this! What have you done to Gemma and the others? What then? They're probably near the entrance, just outside the castle. Now I'll have you fight the Chancellor and save me the trouble of destroying him. Think again. Boom. Got him. Sir, where am I? I can't believe it. when Gemma told me a child was master of the Manasaur. I had doubts. Please take this. Ooh. Awesome one. all come so far. Skill alone does not make a hero. You must learn what true courage is. Do you understand? If the Empire is making overt attempts to take over the Republic, they must be close to recovering the fortress. My mission is to stop the Empire's takeover at any cost. You have no time to lose either. Find Sage John. He will... I can swear you're supposed to do this before the Moon Palace on this NES game. What's up, Tyler? Yo, what's up? So I'm surprised that in this edition, assuming I'm right about that, they didn't tweak it so that the um, King, or, or so that Gemma didn't say, What do you mean you haven't met met Josh? He's right there, he's a giant bird. The Moon Palace is a joke. Welcome. I don't remember this place having like better armor, but maybe it's just because I never checked. I 
I mean, this the Steam remake in this is basically the same version. Yeah, there's a little bit of planning involved. I thought she was stuck with the flower suit. Whatever. I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff that drops in the Mana Fortress that doesn't drop is not available anywhere else. That's the part of that trophy that I'm a little like on. Anything else? Come again. The Empire tries hard. I could swear there was something weird in there. Make me run all the way back to the first screen. This little isolated patch of game. There. I mean, if I can't get it, I can't get it. I'm not too worried. I really am just going to do this. So. I should cast it on the sprite though so that I can get to her faster. Oh, that's right. It doesn't let me do it again. That's just basically this game. It might actually. I forgot they've added that shortcut. She's out of magic. Because now I would have to immediately like do something else with it. Now I've got that like a little annoying thing there. Shall I save the game? I save the game. It really is nice for spam casting. Gnome's at 7, so the next thing to spam on the sprite is silence to get lightning bolt up to 7. I feel like Gnome... Gnome's Earthslide and Scythe's, uh... Thunderbolt are the two things you use the most. You can level up, you can level up the girl's magic anywhere. Uh, the only thing is that if you're not, if you're, if you don't have weapons drawn, it only goes up at half strength. But you can still do it. Like you can just sit in an inn and just cast all of her magic until it goes up. It'll just take twice as many castings because it only goes up half as much, you know, plus or minus one. up to five. Busy man, thank you for the host. Yeah. 
Alright, it is really good for this. Are the weapon levels looking at this point? Oh, that's gonna go up. How's it going, Izzy Man? Thanks for the host. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Too many bosses in too short a time. Magic levels are actually starting to go up pretty quickly. Let's see what the number actually was out of that. Good. It's still Secret of Mana. This, uh... Alright. Tyler's right. I should have activated these shortcuts ages ago. This is just too convenient for spamming magic. So this is the remake. This is not the collection. This, this, so this is the remake that they put out there. This is not this this game here, which is being completely green screened out. That spell was listed as being silence in the original game. Not even, uh, not confusion, even though it inflicts confusion. Uh, I mean, the remake's the remake. The collection is the original game. I don't know if, like, the original glitches are intact in it. But it's a high possibility, I guess. Whereas in this game, like, they're definitely not here anymore. This is a SNES game, so there's an infinite money glitch and overpowered kills and everything else. So that's the thing, right? If you care about voice acting, well, if you care about the glitches, I should say, then don't look here. Although this game undoubtedly has its own glitches that I just don't know about. Uh, if you just want to enjoy the game, this is fine. This is beautiful. That said, there's a few like weird translation things that are, are different between the games that have bugged me a little bit. They're like minor things though.
It was Lumina in the original game. It was Lumina before it was ever Wisp. Who's Wisp? Because it's an official. That's an official one. Yeah. <laughs> Siphon's at up to six now. Good. Yeah. It might be Wisp in um Sangin and Sesu 3. Which is a game I still want to call Secret of Mana 2. <laughs> yeah, once they started calling it Wisp, I was like, who's Wisp? Like, I got it. Because I think by that point, I was definitely familiar with the concept of a uh, SNES game having different translations. Yep, Siphid, which has like been Sylph in just about every other um, JRPG that uses this naming scheme. Remedy. Yo, Moonbeam finally hit six. Moon is up to six. Self is, is getting there. Lumen is almost at, at seven, which is what I really want. Undine getting up close to seven is fine, but really, like, I'm not going to use anything else the girl has to offer. Uh, getting Noam up for endgame and getting Luna up for endgame is nice. I'm not sure I'm following Z Man. Are you saying the uh, the collection of mana patched the game? Or just that the remake did? Because I know the remake did. I should actually throw that in the mix. I'm out of walnuts, right? By the way, in the original game, magic point damage and magic point healing had different colors. They they really couldn't manage that in this. I'm surprised. Special deal for a busy trap. Anything be seen. Like that would be green, not blue. Deal. I'm a little surprised by that because now like I can't tell what it is and before I got more information out of it so it's like little things like that that are different between the remake and the original if you're just playing them casually 
this is honestly a slightly better quality of life. I, I question the translation changes in a couple of spots, but it's like such a minor thing for all the other additions that it got made. I have no idea. I have trials of I have the collection sitting here, but it's not open. I mean, I guess I'm gonna gain levels inside if I. So it doesn't really matter. Luna's gonna go up soon. I, I Luna, I should work on as I go through here. Is getting getting magic point absorbed leveled up is actually not a terrible idea because then powerful enemies with high magic defense you want to be able to suck the magic points out. You may not end. Oh, he's his sageness is visiting the mountain caves to. Before you sits his reverence, the wise old sage Jock. I'm his disciple, Jack. Gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. And uh, his sageness speak. You heroes must undergo. Conquer the ones within. To will you? Excellent! You ever have, like that spot in your glasses that's like directly where you want to see things? Are we really gonna do this game? It takes more than that. I'm pretty sure there are nitro pumpkins in other places, but this is the one that's gonna get killed now. Takes more than that. <laughs> Didn't I connect with like level three kicking Take stuff? Yeah, there's 94 damage. No, we got to nine. Critical hit of zero. Remember in the original game it said they get whacked? Now it says critical hit. About time. Someone's gonna end up with the axe right now. I think it's me. Claim that, by the way, in this version, I can't target someone that's being targeted by a spell. Yo, shouts to the rabbi drops. I do love it when enemies try to magic point absorb the boy. Take more than that. 
It's not entirely true that you can't target somebody. Because you can target all. See, in this next game, that was devastating because you got stuck until they would woke up. Is the game going to just forget that I took damage there? I mean, I'm not... I don't have a problem with this. There are shapeshifters through the end of the game, so I'm not too upset by uh, not killing one here. This is one of the few places in the game where I really do just charge through it, because it's too big of a pain to kill everything. Now shapeshifters been killed anyway. It's a Captain Mallard, which is also available through the end of the game because I think there's one just on the on the entrance to the fortress. Well, let's just get it out of the way now. Don't be a death trap or something stupid like that. No. It's a death trap or something stupid like that. Those are so ineffective on the original game. Like, that was almost part of it. Like, you basically never got killed by them. I think I, like, once got killed by it. And now I've gotten killed by it three times today. Which is annoying because it makes you not want to open touch any treasure chest through the end game. Takes more than that. Get up. Now it begins. Giant honking rocks. Did it. On the SNES version, they were like a huge pain. That was free. I don't know if it's because I used speed up and confused or what. We won. Well done. 
When you only with courage, not in truth, I am Jock. That old man from before was merely an illusion. Yep, doppelgangers. What In the SNES is? version, if you, one of your characters dies, the, its corresponding doppelganger goes away. Yeah, he's the sage. You would never have been able to conquer yourselves. You would have heard my words, but not fully understood them. Well. In reality, the fast and I think the speedrun does this. You walk in there with no armor on two of your characters, let them both die, and then the clones die. You revive one of them, give them all their armor back, and then take the armor off the third person and just do that because the clone doesn't revive. I have been waiting for you to find your inner strength and become the heroes we need you. So, like I was saying, I think this NES game swapped Tanaska and the Lunar Palace. I think you went Tanaska then Moon. Here you went Moon then Tanaska. Or whatever it was so I feel like it would have been neat for it to twist it so that in this game Gemma said no Jock is right there but then we would have lost the the guy there saying gobbledygook Go now the Emperor seeks to raise the sunken continent you'll find the mana palace on a small island near the coral reef something evil seems to have broken the barrier sealing it away you have no time hurry They're all still lit up. All the little sparks there. Light the way, Lumina! Lucid barrier! Light! I can do this outside to keep boosting the sprite, I guess. basically mean to the axe. That feels kind of weird. I didn't find out you can guarantee crits. Lucid Barrier is neat. But I never... Here's the thing, when I played this game back in the day, it's a Dryad buff. I'm trying to remember what the Dryad buffs even are. It's the Dryad spells are Sleep Flower, Burst, Revive. Ooh. Wall. Mana Magic. You can't see. I, I'm sorry. This is off to the side, I guess. So if they gave, if they added spells, it might be Luna. Siphon's at seven. Do I have anything else that doesn't actually do damage? Dispel, I guess. Even if it costs four magic points to use. Get some experience points out of this. It always felt like it took so long to get through this as a kid, but I think most of it was the insistence on leveling everything up to the highest level I could right away. And here, because they fixed, I think I do feel like they fixed a lot of the the magic issues against bosses, where all you did was spam magic on a boss, and that was that. And actually made... They, they've, they've fixed the balance here, I think. This nest game, you walk into rooms and literally all you do is spam magic. It's probably Lunar Boost. Yeah, Moon Energy. Shall I save the game? 
the buff order on the Mana Beast on the SNES was like loosen barrier at a time because you could basically trick out the game so that some things would not damage you while the spell was active. So you would use that and then you would b buff up with Lunar Boost. What's the other one in here? Lunar Boost, Moon Energy, and Speed Up. And Mana Magic was thrown in there. Yeah, magic is insanely broken. Well, the problem is also that it wasn't only that the, the magic was powerful against bosses. There are plenty of times that uh, bosses would spam magic right back at you. So it wasn't, at that point, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a matter of you cheesing the game. Because if you didn't cheese the game, the game is going to cheese you. It's fair play at that point. I'm going to get myself a drink, hit the bathroom, and then we can fight the giant monstrosity that lies in here. In the original game, I always thought this was a lot bluer, not let a lot less green on the ground. But okay. Gang's all here. Right on schedule. I thought you'd turn out. The ancient continent will surface once I've broken all the palace seals throughout the world. Which apparently you've already done. This is the last one. With this, the Mana Fortress will rise again. Too bad you won't be around to save the sight. Now who shall I start with? Your Majesty, leave this to me. You and Fanha must get to the altar. I mean, I guess my only disappointment in this game is the Emperor is a false idol. I don't recognize these guys either. These folks, I mean, I don't know who they are. Are they supposed to be somebody? This is revenge for your interference in my business in Tasnica. Wait, you're the Darkstalker? Fools! You have no chance against my true form. <laughs> this is where we find out that all of the Emperor's minions are weird. The world fills me with power. It brings strength to our cause. I'll squash you like bugs. So the Emperor works for Mavolia? Foolish boy. To gain control over the world above, we all made a pact with the forces of the Underworld. Now we must revive the Mana Fortress 
to keep all of humanity under our control. I don't quite remember this as being true. Your time is up. Pretty sure it's either the dryad or there isn't one. Ega Gropulon! Enough of this! Start going to work! Yeah, it doesn't have a weakness at all. But like, the fact that I can actually connect with weapons is the biggest balance difference. It's like, it's not, they really nerfed the magic, but they really boosted the weapon damage. And your ability to outright hit a boss. Because in this NES version, trying to hit a boss with a weapon was like impossible after the early game. Oh, am I getting 400s? There we go. Orb. No, I can't be defeated. Y you just were. By a mere child. Twice. <sighs> I felt like in this NES game, Shade was meant the made out to be more us. like not evil and just like the embodiment of unholy power. Yeah, that's pretty much how bosses go. That was definitely one of the bosses that would cheese you in SNES, by the way. You would just get bursted five times in a row. There was nothing you could do. Seal's breaking. We're not going to make it. Nothing's happening. Get out of here now. I am Dryad, the elemental of wood. The seals on the world seeds have all been broken. The continent beneath this palace will rise from the depths soon. You must leave this island now! What about you? I was unable to save this palace. Don't be stupid! Staying here won't solve anything! Come and help us save Mana! Would that I could, but I won't be of much help. That man Thanatos has sealed off almost all of my Mana magic. Don't worry! Come on! Hurry! Almost I all is literally the say. one powerful spell. Thank you just you. need to say mana magic. I will do. And burst no. is like an insanely I'm powerful right. spell. Or at least it used to be. Yo, Flammy just flew through there! This music is supposed to change here, by the way. At least on SNES, you just hovered above it and there was a. Oh, they didn't change the music here? Like, this is now your... Oh, flammy music. Yo. There you are. The sunken continent has resurfaced, and with it, the fortress. I've come with troops from around the world to stop the Empire from taking the Mana Fortress. There's an ancient city under the Grand Palace. You should be able to enter once you get through there. Emperor Vandal made a pact with Mavolia, the Underworld. Now the place is full of monsters. The Mana Sword needs to be completely restored if we're going to stop the Emperor. We'll stay here and fight off the Imperial troops. There! Actually, I need to find a town, because I need to talk to Watts, because at this point I have, like, a couple of orbs that need to be up... weapons that need to be reforged. Yeah, Dryad's all about the self-deprecation. What is this? Let's just go up here. I'm about to pass 
south. I've been waiting. Welcome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I fixed anything my else not owning again. anything here yet. Yeah, the game does look very nice. If you like the game, like the nostalgia factor, you'll you'll what play through this game. You'll enjoy it. Sword is all polished up and ready for another fight. Never knew what was the travel type. We didn't talk much while I was in the caves. He must be very brave to follow us when there are so many monsters around. Come to think of it, how does he manage to follow us without getting attacked? Because he's only going to towns, honestly. Maybe he's actually a skilled warrior. Champion of the dwarves or something. You know, Wap might even be stronger than you, little sprite. Hey, I'm just a kid. Give me a break. Good answer. Maybe we should ask him to join our party instead. Yes. We could have a four-person party. It's a square game. What might even be stronger than I am? Don't be so down on yourself. I was really hoping Watts would appear. Link's Awakening, like... I don't have that soft spot for it. It looks like the game's gonna be dre I don't know. I, f I have a feeling it's gonna be very different. And I don't want to spend like $60 on it. Whereas this game was like, I think I got this for 15. There. It's not that I don't think that much money of work is going into the game. It's that I already bought a lot of these games multiple times, so it's like, what am I doing? It's neat to be able to like, actually see it popping off the continent, though. What? Oh. Beast zombie. I just want the beast zombie down before Blaze Wall gets used. I didn't think that the uh, Dark Knights had level 6 walls. Who's using level 6 wall? Alright, Doom Trap or Doom Trap? A couple wishes. Oh, this thing is. These are supposed to be the robot ones, aren't they? Yeah, that, that's why this map is wrong, right? Like, the door is right there. I'm pretty sure it was right there on the SNES version, too. Because they... I think they tried to redraw it with different colors. I think that's as high as that can go. I'm gonna finish getting the axe up. Actually, I'm gonna need a slashing weapon for the next area anyway, so I'll uh, reserve the sword for the boy as well. This side does nothing. Is 
Do they really have to split the load area of this place? Let's say, come on, game. Steel pin. Get wrecked! Physical game. I didn't get it when it was first released, so I have a feeling somebody was trying to just get rid of it. Bounce, didn't it? Haha. That's how they're going to play out here. We're getting out of here. Because I do not want my party's magic points being stolen. We get the cool music here, right? I don't want to do that yet. Like... This is the room where I need it. Oh, that switch, I think, just fills it all back in, though. One spell you should almost always be grinding out. Because it's literally. It's literally free. Um. Just. Just level something. I think I actually need fire soon. didn't miss. Come on. Alright. I'm tired of you using the boomerang and making yourself unable to use magic. I'm taking control. My god. How many boomerang orders do I have now? Mm, that's new. One magic point from that.
Got that magic coin back. And that's the problem. Like, we basically only have the one magic point to give anyway. I have to fully explore this place now while I can, though. That's how it works. I was like trying to remember what am I gonna have to do heal from this place, and now I now I've got it. Just took that one time to really remember it. Weapon skill it's we're finally at the point of the game where weapon skill is taking a while to go up. Just end them both. I believe in you, Sprite. Did, you, did Exploder hit your iframes or something? Why are you still here? Time to die. Look at the mini map to see where it's, where it's coming. Still here? Nice. that in before oh give me a break game I think you're the new one I think the enemies ignore the rules that you can't either the enemies are ignoring the rules of you can't absorb more than you than you can hold or they fixed it for this game. Oh, Salamando hit level 4 somewhere along the way. Open for. Uh, I forget how far in I have to actually go to get to the Hydra. Hmm. 
Why have I been raising Salamander, you ask? And I'm pretty sure it's this fight. Yep, it's this fight. Go to work. Yeah, suck some magic points out of this pool while you're at it. Bosses don't have that many hit points in this game. End it. End it. What does this even do? Still here. There we go. It's like literally all I should have to do is spam Exploder a few times, and especially with. I don't know. Maybe the bosses are getting stronger again. Or maybe it's because I only have level 4 Exploder instead of level 7. Yo. I don't quite remember this. Look what the cat dragged in. I'll take care of these pests. Prepare. Gold soldier replaces. Enough, Vanna. We don't have time to waste on children. With the mana fortress in our hands, no one will stand in our way. Not the Republic, nor these rats. Press on. Yes, sir. As you command, your time will come, pests. I don't think like we meet her at all, really, before the I can't upstairs. See a thing. Solar flare! We gotta hurry. Oh man, it's almost there. left in here it's the it's the robot I'm already set to go there there are no bosses that are weak to uh, burst it's just a great all-purpose spell though I don't completely get how burst works. Other than it owns things. There is an ice dragon later, so I am interested in keeping Salamando along the path to seven. I should repel the whole thing. Let's 
stay healed up. Crawlers can cast wall basically whenever they want. I want to have magic get in the way of that. Go after your Captain Duck though. About time. How is weapon skill for everybody? You guys are more stronger than I thought. So always keep a healthy buffer between uh, your magic points used. Oh my goodness. targets. <laughs> we have these guys count as like undead or not. These aren't the yellow ones though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are the same ones from the Palace of Darkness. Duck helmet? Royal jam. PlayStation loads. What are you even doing here, dude? I've been waiting. else out there that was a midway I actually should be investigating more isn't it yeah
there are a lot of enemies at this point in the game that are available in the Mana Fortress, so... Enemies drop the secret code. Red, Red blue, blue, yellow, yellow green. green. We'll secure this. RBYG. I'm really glad I talked to that guy. Because I remember that now. And I would have been like stuck there, like, oh no, now what? Army's thinking I should be using a, a slightly different spell for some of this. This really is like, I mean, the last few areas are really stupid long. So we're going to be in a few of these for a little bit. Which way do I go first? Go back and check that other place because I think this goes to the subway. Like this is a place you can really only go to once. Like you can come back, but not for long. Oh hi! I think that's a one way for later on. Six. Did it literally cast wall like immediately after I went after it? So much damage. Ooh. Some high level air blasts getting lobbed around here. I'm pretty sure that's the door I saw earlier. Oh. 
clearly missed something. Maybe I didn't. Why does this spray only have 204 hit points? Thanks, Pro Incarnate. Did someone kill this bird already? Metal Crawler just got destroyed. Once you get magic point absorb, like it becomes trivial to kind of keep the sprite moving, which is what you really want to do. Captain Ducks coming out of here. Royal Jam. I don't know what happened in here, but the boy is suddenly killing it with the, the Masamune. like almost any weapon I could give you right now. Hmm. Hmm, deal with these guys a little more forcefully. way earlier.
Does this go to that switch? It does. I just need to see it explode, because that's the moment I get experience points out of it. Well, that's the next door, I think, that's now open. Is about to get there one more shot. Maybe a couple more shots, I guess. Also a fire dragon. My magic absorb should also like by all means go up. Dark Stalkers are actually kind of scary enemies, until they're not. There's a subway entrance. Does it look familiar to anybody? From just like an everyday life perspective. up. It's over. Ah. 
I'm not exactly the strongest set of passengers. Come on. Four twenty, blazing. I like the way I stuck that in there. Sword is at six. It's really stupid powerful right now, though. Um, give me the whip. Where'd that rabbit come from? Shapes with shifters forever. Or maybe they'll just die, I don't know. Oh boy. the rest of the game the name of the game is have the sprite spam magic in various shapes and forms especially now that we have the uh the magic absorbed to, to fuel it It's hard to see it there, but I just pushed a switch between some of these, those pillars. I think, judging by my stutter step, I think it's on the right side. That's how Doom Traps always used to work for me. Dines up to five. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, I mean, 
I'm more than happy to keep spamming at the enemy that is apparently strong against water. Just bring everything up. at the end of this mess. It's like Scorpion Army Robot number two, I think. And they're here for some reason. No real explanation given. Gotta keep working these in too. Max damage. Let's go. First instance of that so far. It feels good to see three nines in this game. Type 2! Don't use turbo! Oh no. Uh, I want to say I use lightning bolts. Okay, that's how it's going to be. No, I got them back on the screen! You actually don't have that many hit points, so four of those will do it, and I've already gotten the hits in. That fourth one's like doing less than 100 damage. So this is it. Good night, Kettlekin. Now in the original game you just pop out of here and magically you have access. Like there's no real explanation given as to why you suddenly have it. But this little chunk of land is filled in now. Yeah. <laughs> 
A little bit of spam in here. How close is she to getting... Alright, one more. Maybe it just wasn't on screen. There it is. Magic's still just a little bit broken, I guess. There. I'm putting in the work to make it that powerful, at least. I guess I never realized how close... I mean, they made the, the overworld a lot tighter, too, so you're not flying around nearly as much. I'm about to... I've been waiting. I think that's the only one. Protect us, no? Defender. One nut. I used to think that everyone who lived in the Empire was our enemy. They were bad people, but now that we've talked to some of them, I realize that I was wrong. They're just like the citizens of Pandora and everyone else we've met on our journey. Some of these guys look like they're having a harder time here than others. I'm not sure if defeating the Empire is going to help these people. We need to find out who's really behind these problems. You mean Thanatos? He's going down! Yeah! He's bad news. We need to figure out what he and the Empire's higher-ups are up to. If we don't, the whole world is in danger, not just the mana tree. Let's keep going. I think Shade is effective against a single late-game boss. So that's the last one that'll go up for the sprite. I say that, it's actually Dryad that'll probably go up. It, it'll be a contest to see whether I get Shade up to speed before then, or if Dryad works its way up. I, I, Dryad will probably hit like 4 or 5. There. And then I'll say, well, time to raise Shade. At which point I should really be raising Shade first. Three fumble turnovers in three consecutive plays. Sounds like the college level. Part of me wants to do a Zelda randomizer seed, and part of me knows to just kind of take care of business here. And at least open up the pure land tonight. Oh, hey. They drop this? Thanks for taking care of the enemies down here. Now we can use this as a shortcut to the Grand Palace.
I just want to get inside. Football is weird like that. Heck hounds. Fire thing. We got it. So we're gonna have to take that down. Dark swords, I guess. Well, now we've killed one. Okay, this book is also new. Yeah, now they're all there without the sparks on the bottom.
technically a game. Only one. I mean, keep going with it, right? I'm just going to keep using it, because as long as I get one, I didn't lose anything. Now I can go up a level. I didn't get any. Ice cubes that are raining onto the wolves are getting bigger. tell by the color of the room which one you're supposed to be using. There's too much gold in here. Before that registers. Ah, oh, it did register. I don't think you got the, the two-way ones until level 9, which wasn't a real spell level. It just had animations. The fireball animation for level 9 was amazing. Because it was just literally a couple of dragons just destroying everything on the screen. Have a good one. Yo, 
What's up, noob sandwich? Welcome to the remake. From a casual perspective, it seems to hold pretty true to the original. And I'm really enjoying it just for that. Who did I just use it on? I use it on the walled one. Stab to stop. Oh, nope. Don't really need it anymore now. Doom trap. What is that? Go with that. Oh it's like at this point, getting magic up any higher than six is just tedious. Which is not to say it's not worth doing. She's the only one that actually needs it. I want to say those are orb rooms, because otherwise they're just empty rooms. Yes. magic on all only does one point of damage. Just 
Here's only level four. Random empty rooms. Out of here, Gremlin. I can barely not really see it. There it is. Get that onto anything else. Uh, I think everyone's full, except um, for her. Whatever. That's where my fairy walnut came from earlier. There's the blaze wall. Change that shortcut now. Yeah, come on! 
They do have more than they're letting on. Dry it went up good. Yeah, finish that damn slash animation so we can get back to work here. at some point. I forget exactly what was going on in that room. But like everyone is frosted I think. I don't even want to use it over there. I wanted to use it up here close and personal. goes up into the big switch room where you do the glitch normally, I think. One use lunar magic has in the game. Ah! 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 
Let's go. Common spell. Sound I want to hear. Go. Hit points are good. Just need to see if I can get magic points to go up a little more. Please go up still. That's what I wanted to see. Might hurt. It does totally hurt. We'll never know. A couple of salamanders do the, do the job. That is not a particularly strong boss of the glass cannon. Something's not right. The Emperor! He's dead! What's going on? Hey! There's a passageway behind the altar! You made it. You're the one who betrayed the Emperor! I'm afraid so. Now that we control the Mana Fortress, we control the whole world. Who's we? Thanatos. Aha, the children are back. It has been a while. What have you done with Dylok? Is he safe? Of course. I wouldn't want anything to happen to my new body after all. He does not owe you an explanation. Sir, please head to the fortress. I will get revenge for Sheiks and Gestar right here and now. Goodbye, pests. Ha! Pitiful! <laughs> Powerless. 
you're powerless as we blast you with stuff. What's her name in this? Texas. It's the first person game that came out at some point. <laughs> they all explode. I feel a little sad that not every boss gets a trophy. Like, I get that they did it basically by area instead. Tree room, I guess. Geshtar, you survive? You could say he is and isn't Geshtar. I've used ancient magic to create a living machine. Now my faithful servant can serve me in death as well. You're the lowest of the low. <laughs> <laughs> This room of the Mana Fortress. I'll fix my hit point situation a little bit. supposed to be him grunting and not like engine revs in the past. We're getting our shots in and we're not dealing with like the he's on one side of the screen problem. Yo, we got it. They activated the mana fortress. I think the funny thing to think of is that if they just stayed there, they could progress straight to Thanatos. But, um, I mean, I guess we need to get the tree anyway.
wonder how I'm going to progress to the Mana Fortress in this version. Are you all right? We fail to stop them from reviving the... The Mana Beast will soon appear. The world will fall and... But we must not give up hope. At the edge of the world, you'll find a sealed realm known as the Pure Land. Usually it's hidden under a cloud of mana fog so dense you couldn't even fly. But now, the fortress is consuming the last of the world's mana to power itself. The barrier around the Pure Land will have gotten weaker. The seeds you've been using to restore the sword. You should be able to synchronize with the tree and bring the sword back to its full power. It's not over till it's over. No human has set foot in that realm. In this next version, you can't run through the flowers. I guess you gotta go, Mew. Make sure Mew have everything before me. that they were actually dropping those things. I guess you gotta I'm glad I got those drops now, because that's like two endgame pieces of armor. I don't have to pay for. I know there's better out there. Anything else? Hmm. There. I actually I can actually fly up to it. Neat. Ugh, we can't get through the shield. I didn't want to fly to it this time. I thought last time I had to like push a button Ugh, on top of it. We can't I'll be mad if I'm stuck in a loop. I'm a little annoyed that you don't get the dragon sword until after you basically defeat half the dragon. You have the dragon lance now, now though, so there's that. One night is. Feels like we just found him, and he's already big enough to let us ride him. That's one legendary dragon. His wing plumage is coming in so thick. I can't wait to see how he looks full grown. Ah. Uh. And he's still so cute. No, yeah, Flammy's great. Hmm? Should That's we the tell first him? time I've heard you phrase Flammy. Did you get over your jealousy? Come on, I'm not petty enough to hold a grudge like that. Ooh. Besides, if Flammy got 
this big in such a short amount of time, that means I can't be far behind. Getting jealous over Clammy wouldn't be very big of me after all. I got it. I try not to get stuck in the past. Nice to hear that optimism. You do know you're a sprite, right? There's basically no way you're going to get as big as a dragon. Even your grandpa was kinda on the short side. Haha, <laughs> just you wait and see. Better not crush. Okay. I want to say the Griffin feats can uh, can do something. You know what? We're going in. Uh, do we want to do a practice seed now? Let's see how far I can get. I'm not sure if I want to do the midnight qualifier race or not. I know I shouldn't. That doesn't mean I don't maybe not want to do it anyway. I have waited. Come to me quickly now. I don't think that's ever spoken. Seeing the feathers on it is definitely a lot better than seeing the, uh... What was that? Than seeing, like, the little thing that looked like a stool. Did I just have, like, a bunch of numbers that stacked on top of each other perfectly to make it look like a bunch of... Uh, it was 900 damage? The second enemy on the screen died first, because needle lines are dumb. Immediately get piece of that equipment. I can sell it at least. Wall. Vivify does like almost no healing. It gets you above zero. That's its, that's its claim to fame. I missed what happened to Sprite. Did they get torn up by the Griffin hand? Because that's what usually happens. Cool. 
this might be the point in the game where it doesn't really matter what who has what weapon, I, and we should start building up the end game weapons for when we have to actually do something. This is what I've always done. I know it's not optimal. Griffin hands are just pretty bad news to encounter. That's a good amount of magic. when something interesting happened. Oh, she was definitely like a fish. I know it's go up, up, up. It's always go up.
We killed one. That's really what we came here for when you get down to it. Defeat the dragon. I'm glad they made the area at least snowy. I don't think it's actually snowy in the original game. I think it's still like the green of pure land. Right over here. I'm just left over here. Yo. It's like complete inability to actually hit it is what also drives. The uh, SNES game strategy of just spam magic. I didn't think I would actually make any headway into the Pure Land tonight, and here we are. Orb! just have absurd invasion. Oh, 
Oh, it went down anyway. I'm not sure I ever saw the rock. Lots of three digit numbers. And there's only one normal enemy in the game that can actually take a thousand points of damage and not die. On one of those is speed up on any enemy at this point is annoying because half of your ability to dodge is coming from evasion, I guess. Half of your ability to dodge is from evasion, whatever. I forgot that boss was in a cave. No, I need to be able to kill enemies. Like the levels need to keep coming. Some offense, pitch in. Nines. He's going in. If 
fire dragon? Or is this th this is a fire dragon? Magic spamming is back, baby! That's half the pure line. It's like the actual levels are still good, even if it's funny that I didn't get the heal with it after I until after I had healed myself. Did it do? Sometimes I'm getting nines, and other times, you know, it doesn't die. Mine's the other way. That's why it's not one shot again. Go on a spell. Hiding it over here. One more guy, I guess. Take one attack! 
I always get a little worried about the mushrooms because if they just get a little little out of hand, it's all over. It's all over. You don't know how angry I am at the guy who is for childhood trauma. This one is the one that never actually got a, ch a day in the sun. But that doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to give it anything though. So the Dragon Buster Sword can only be used if you leave, on a dragon at least, if you leave the Pure Land and venture all the way back up to this point. I guess this makes us the Thunder Dragon. Life of trying to gain levels at least. And honestly, this is why it's worth it to make sure you can uh, afford that equipment coming out of the Grand Palace. That's right, this is on the, the pillar. Bosses that hover out of melee range for whatever reason. <sighs> Body's telling me to go to sleep. I should probably do it. But let's get through this cutscene. bit of prep after that too I guess.
continue on. Where are we? Revive that mana sword and get this feels like I'm dreaming. Did we really do it? Nope. You made it. What can I say? You guys would have been lost without me. So much has happened to us in such a short time. We have the monologue up guys, here. I never would have made it. There's one last job to do. If the mana tree can restore the sword, that fortress won't stand a chance against us. Let's go. Fools. Come. Awaken. No, oh, where... where are we? Wait! Where's the mana tree? Drat! Thanatos gave us the slip again. I don't think blowing up the I source of the world's like mana both. is giving you the slip. What's going to happen to the world now? Dylock is... I have been awaiting your arrival. It is I, the Mana Tree, guardian of this world. Do not despair. Even without physical form, I am still with you. The resurrection of the Mana Fortress has used up most of the world's mana. Soon, all the mana beasts in the world will be transformed into one giant creature. This great mana beast is the only one who can bring mana back to the planet. But the rapid decrease of mana has caused the beast to descend into a crazed frenzy. Yeah, right? If the beast attacked the fortress, the world would not survive the encounter. The Always only way is. to avoid this tragedy is to first defeat the mana beast with the sword. Only those with the blood of the mana tribe in their veins can wield the mana sword. Why did we choose veins to stay instead of arteries? Your father, legendary Tasnikin Knight Saren, was to retrieve the sword, but... Fifteen years ago, Saren sought to defeat the evil Emperor, but he was badly wounded. It took the Empire With fifteen the years to get this moving? Strength, he journeyed to Potos to retrieve the Mana Sword, but he never made it. You mean that ghost I saw by the falls? That was my father? I'm glad they kind of cleared that up. Yes, it is true. Your father. Because otherwise was it makes no sense. Knight, and I. I was his wife. Your mother. That part of this doesn't make much we sense. We are of the Mana Tribe. Like, I get the seed Members thing from the original game, but... Members of our tribe are fated to become the mana tree to protect the world for future generations. Others, like your father, inherit the mana sword to fight the evils that threaten peace and prosperity. Peace and prosperity to you, my friends. You must stop the fortress. Its stores of mana are nearly gone. You could penetrate its shields. 
With the last of my energy, I will call upon the seeds of mana to once again resonate with your sword. I am sorry. I was never there to care for you growing up. Mother! Wait, is that really you? But what happens without the mana tree? No! We finally meet and now this? Talk to me! Mother! Mother! Oh no... Mother... She... Huh? Snap out of it! Your mom gave us hope! Don't let her last moments go to waste! It's tough, but we're all dealing with our own losses. Sis ain't got a mom, neither do I. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. I'll be okay. The mana tribe, huh? I've got big shoes to fill. But I'll protect the world like my mother and father. Now you're talking! That's why you're my number one subordinate! Yeah, I don't know why, but it almost feels like I met my own mother. She's here in my heart, just like your mother's in yours. That's the spirit! You guys ready? One, two, three! Oh. Go team! What was our team name from earlier? Brave Swordsman Tribe or, sort of, or something? Brave Brigade? It's been a while. Six weapons. I'm about I've been waiting. So the gloves came up short, and the axe came up short. This means I gotta find two. One night. Let's take a break. There you are. What? Nice to see a familiar face out here. Everything is in tip top shape. Thanks for helping us reforge these things. Not a problem. Happy to be of service. You must have a hard time following us around all the time. But we appreciate all your help. Don't worry. Working on all these mana weapons has made me a better blacksmith. Besides, I'm not just here for that. Yes, he's here for the money. You have another job? Well, I'm supposed to keep an eye on that little runt over there. The elder asked me to check up on him. He did? Aw, that's so sweet. He wants to make sure you're doing okay on your journey. No, he wants to make sure he's not scamming anybody. That's no good. What do you mean? Shady business I can do if someone's keeping an eye on. Were you planning some? Them's the breaks.
plan to be up too much later. Oh, well, we don't have... No, the first one is the vampire. You need to work on this. Outdated at this point, right? Well, that was golden's nest. No, oh, it's white. I thought I was complaining. Oh, are these all gonna be- this was one giant room on SNES. Are we gonna really have like a million loads here? Alright, Tyler. That's really annoying. And people think this NES is not the best console. It's gonna be a hell to get in and out of here all the time. Lit up.
That is the same enemy. care about enemies that can drop orbs. Maybe equipment. I think the Fiend Head has axe orbs? Might not. Fiend Head might be the one that doesn't have any. The good part of this is that the enemies are all going to respawn a lot faster. But still, these loads are going to be painful. Seven's gonna be plenty for this.
mean, you can only have so many hit points. No more orbs. I mean, I was hoping for the whip orb, but checking the what I'm hope. In the fact that I don't have the achievement for all wrist equipment upon getting that actually has me a little, a little worried. There might be something I'm supposed to get from the um, the werewolves, I guess. I thought that was it. Is there a f something called a fairy ring I still need to get? It's actually better than that. only an enemy that's unique to the fortress that can drop the orb. dangerous enemy in the place for the first two sections. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's shape. Don't want to stab shape too hard. Dark Stalkers, I think, are with cash. I always got me a little bit that they said you're the du you're the Dark Stalker, and then there's like another five of them. Are you still alive? I'm starting to actually see the SNES spell animation in there now. Tiny orbs that they may be. Head is the only one that's really worth killing. Your chocolate. I need this thing to split so I can actually start killing it. I need them to start splitting so I can just farm them. because we're basically trying to get a whip orb. Lucid Barrier! 
of cooperation from him today. And that that's pretty much how grinding things in the fortress works. I don't know that what the requirements actually were in this NES game to be able to get the orb other than it just randomly dropped. Salamando's so got a, a decent chunk of the way there. Oh, yes. That's positive. Show me Axe Orb. Or a cape or something. Small chunk of magic experience. Welcome. What? Anything else? Come again. Yeah, this is the time. Yeah, I gotta call it here because I'm already like half asleep and it's 11:30. One night is. I can't play that game for an hour and a half after this. That moon palace was out of this world. I got it. Who knew space was so dark? Dark and a little frightening. Ethereal? Is that a fancy way to say it looks like nighttime? It was like the whole sky was spread out around us. Impressive schmessive. You can't eat stars, so what do I care? Point. I never get tired of listening to you guys joking around. Joking? Who's joking? Yeah, whose side are you on anyway? You can't just treat us like entertainment. You have to choose sides. I, uh, I... No comment. <laughs> oh.
We're going to fast then in just a second. Alright. I'm out. Have a good night, folks.